What's going on YouTube? So today's video, I'm going to give you, oh that is so refreshing, 10 great citrus based fragrances for the summer of 2020. But, it's going to be a mixed video. We got niche and designer. So let me just put this away because uh, let's stop the, the chatter cheese. I know, I know my sense of humor is quite, uh, <laughs> it could be quite cheesy. So let's just start the list. First fragrance here, this brand does like citrus like no other. Nobody could beat them in my opinion. But this is going to be Atelier's Pomelo Paradis. Orange blossom, black currant, pink pepper, mandarin. You also get iris and butter. This is like peeling a citrus it's just so authentic it's juicy it's zesty it has a bit of a tout a tart sour component to it but it smells so amazing this is tropics this is like florida in a bottle florida orange juice this is what really florida really is all about this is like tropical, this is Hawaii, Miami, Puerto Rico, Mexico, anywhere that's tropical, hot and humid, this is what this one is. This is just so authentic and so juicy. Next one here, this is going to be from the luxury brand of Cartier or Cartier. Unfortunately with this very fragrance here, it's, it's becoming a little bit harder to find. So you might have to blind buy this one off eBay, but we're going to go with Eau de Cartier Zeste de Soleil. There's only three notes of this one here. Passion fruit, yuzu, and mint. This one really opens up with a really authentic, bright, and sour yuzu. It just smells so good. Like this smells more expensive. Like this is niche quality, if you ask me. Cartier is very underrated. It doesn't get a lot of mention or much love in our online fragrance community. The brand overall is very luxurious, very classy, has that elegance to it. This fragrance is juicy, it's minty, and you get that passion fruit. As I said, this one's becoming a little bit harder to find, but there's another problem with this one here. I think I only get maybe three to four hours, but it smells so incredibly good. If you love citrus-based fragrances, and you can get this for a good price, and you don't mind performance issues, just blind buy it. I don't condone blind buying, but you may have to in order to smell this one. Fragrance number three. I did state that Atelier does fragrance, does citrus fragrances like no other, like they're at the top. This one comes close. This brand here, it's an Italian niche brand. And I find that when it comes to niche, this is more so on the affordable end. Acqui di Parma, Arancia, or Arancia di Capri. There are five different citruses to this one here. So this is a citrus aromatic bomb. So there are five different citruses, caramel, musk, and cardamom. This smells incredibly natural, but what makes this one unique is that caramel note. This is quite unisex. It's not overly feminine, but it's not overly masculine. Both sexes, both genders can wear this quite easily. This is more of a daytime scent. It comes across as slightly sweet, not overly sweet, but playful and very bright, uplifting, energizing citrus. This one does not get a lot of mention in our community. Fragrance number quattro. This one, we're going back to the brand of Guerlain, or how I pronounce it, Guerlain. This is marketed as women, but the men could wear this easily. If you like authentic smelling grapefruit, then Guerlain Aqua Allegoria Pompelolune is one you might like. Cassia Pedigrain, you get grapefruit, vanilla, patchouli, maybe a few other notes in this one here. This smells incredibly natural. There is that sour component from the grapefruit. When I was a kid, I never liked grapefruit at all. I still don't really like it. I could drink it, but it definitely has that sour and bitter tart taste to it. 
you get that sour tart bitter feel from this, but it it's done exceptionally well. This smells more expensive than what it really is. This is like 40, 50 bucks USD. Mark introduced this one to me last year when I went to see him, Robes Away, and I generally don't like wearing women's fragrances, but this one here, without question. I'll, I'll be proud to say, hey, I'm wearing a female scent. Scent number five, let's go back to the brand of Atelier, and we're gonna be talking about Atelier's Bergamot Soleil. Lavender, bitter orange, Bergamot, you also can get Ambert, Haitian vetiver, and oak moss to this one here. This one is very, very bright. This is one of the more brighter scents in this list. It's effervescent, it's bitter, it's citrusy, it's very fresh, very casual. This is this is sunshine in a bottle. I said that, I think it was this one here, Florida in a bottle. This is much more so of the sunshine state, if you ask me. I actually prefer this one, Pomelo Paradi, over this one here. But this one here is great just to uplift your mood. Fragrance number six, let's go to the brand of, well, everybody knows me as the hype man for this brand. Let's go to the brand of Ferrari. And we're gonna go with Bright Neroli, a full box of Bright Neroli. I don't, man, I don't even know where my actual bottle is. Like, you know how hard it is to find everything when it, like this room is in disarray? But this is what the bottle looks like. All Essence Lime bottles that look like this one here. This is Radiant Bergamot. But with bright neroli, the notes are citron, rosemary, iris, you also get neroli, orange blossom, and bitter orange. This one is very effervescent. You get that creamy neroli, you get the orange blossom, you get the different citruses. There is a slight iris note to this one, but not a lot. This one, I have, I, I was the original hype man for this scent. And I have stated that this comes across as the poor man's version of Tom Ford Neroli Portofino. It's not 100%, but it has a lot of aspects and similarities to Tom Ford Neroli Portofino. The Ferrari lasts longer as Tom Ford neutered its own fragrance. So, and for what you're paying for, Tom Ford, you're paying for the name. Does the fragrance smell good? It smells authentic and gorgeous. It smells more authentic than the Ferrari, but if you want to save a lot of money, then Ferrari Bright Neroli is a great uplifting casual scent. It's unisex so the ladies can wear it quite easily. Hell, a lot of these fragrances in this list, they're all unisex except for maybe a few. But I find when it comes to fragrances along these lines, women can wear these ones quite easily. But with Ferrari Bright Neroli, it's great for school, it's great for work, it's great for dressing down to dressing up. Nothing too tuxedo-esque, but if it's a daytime semi-formal event, absolutely. Fragrance number seven, this fragrance does not get a lot of love. Does not get a lot of mention from the online fragrance community. But the brand itself, so many people love this brand. And I think that the first person that really talked about this brand, and I might be wrong, is the OG himself, Al from the channel Street Sense. Everybody knows Al as the Creed guy. But I don't even think that Al even mentioned this one on his channel. I think there's only two reviewers, me and BFL, Carlos. But let's talk about Asian green tea. Black curd, different citruses, musk, heliotrope, amber, and green tea are the notes for this one here. This is, this is a slept on scent. Like with this one, like with the fragrances from this line, but you have Cetra Blanc, you got Vetiver Geranium, you got this, and I think that there's two other fragrances, maybe one. But this one here comes across as bright, it's effervescent. You get the black current, you get a very well blended tea note, and there's a, a little bit of a floral touch to this one here. This is a casual, gentlemanly type of fragrance. Unisex, ladies, you could pull this one off very, very easily. But yeah, you kind of have to have that sense of style in order to pull this one off. I'm thinking loafers, a nice khaki pair of shorts, and a really nice golf shirt or like a nice shirt in general. But Asian green tea, and this is very, very affordable online. I ended up spending like 130, 140 Canadian. That's like 110, 115 USD. Fragrance number eight, I don't mention this brand enough. Man, I, I really do have to tackle this brand. I think I've done maybe three videos from this from this brand, so 
I'm trying to up my game, my up the numbers when it comes to certain brands like Calvin Klein. Uh, I've done a lot of Bond number no. nines. Bond number no. nines not in this video, okay? Uh, some some Trusardis and other brands. This one I have to do a few more reviews throughout this year, but this is gonna be Martin Margiela under the lemon tree. Green tea, cardamom, mate, bergamot, rock rose, and there's a few more notes of this one here. Lemon is not a note to this scent here, which is very strange based on the name itself. But this scent, you definitely get a very authentic, juicy, bitter, uplifting, zesty, bright citrus accord. You also get the green tea along with a slight, and I mean a slight, spicy note to this one here. This is a great unisex scent. It's very versatile, dressing it down to dressing it up. You, this is a semi-formal black tie, daytime type of scent. Martin Margiela, a lot of their scents out there are very authentic. These are, I would say, and this is just my opinion, this is niche quality at designer prices. Fragrance number nine, this brand has pretty much dominated this list because as I said in the beginning, nobody does citruses like this brand here. So we know it's from the brand of Atelier, but this is Pacific Lime. Coconut, mint, lemon, lime, and eucalyptus are the notes for this one here. This is very, oh my goodness, this is very authentic. You, you get the lime, you get the coconut, which has a very nice tropical vibe to it. You get a nice herbaceous eucalyptus, and I'm also, I'm also not a big fan of eucalyptus scents, but this is done exceptionally well. This reminds me of my time in Hawaii. Pacific Lime, Hawaii is in the Pacific Ocean. But this is also just pretty much any tropical resort, whether it's Trinidad and Tobago, Martinique, St. Lucia, St. Vincent, or anywhere in the West Indies, or anywhere in the South Pacific. Fiji, Samoa. This one here is very reminiscent of the tropics. Fergus number 10, this one does not get a lot of mention, but it smells so incredibly good. And everybody knows me as three things. First it was Ferragamo, then it was Ferrari, still is in some ways, but I'm also known as the Zenia guy. Zenia's Sicilian Mandarin. Oak Moss Mint Petit Grain in Mandarin are what you're gonna get with this one here. This is from their luxury line. You can get these online for a slightly cheaper deal, not a whole lot unfortunately, but this comes across as a very juicy Mandarin. You get the Oak Moss, you get a slight Petit Grain, and there's a, a bit a bit of mint in the background. This just smells so incredibly good. It's a daytime scent, it comes with a price tag. I find that this is more of a grown up scent. A college student can wear this very easily, but for the most part, a college student does not have money to burn. This is more expensive than this one here, especially like online, you can get a very good deal for this one here. This one, not so much. But if you are a fanboy of Xenia, chances are you really do appreciate and love this one. So guys, I just gave you 10 great citrus-based fragrances. So any reviews that I've done, they will be down in the description below. I easily could have made a top 10. I easily could have made a top 20. Hell, a top 30. I don't know if I'm gonna do a part two, but we'll see. I find that recently a lot of the, the summer fragrances, a lot of them are overlapping in some of the other videos. We'll see if I do a part two, but guys, if you like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up, share the video, subscribe if you haven't, hit that notification bell. Thank you for your time, take care, and we'll see you later. Thanks for watching, everybody.